what a wonderful audience. You have been magnificent. You have been just magnificent. Your patience, your enthusiasm, your dedication, your love for liberty. We are really moved by your presence and your patience is terrific. Let me just make a few short statements and a few very short messages. 69 years ago, a few days ago, as you know, an Allied force landed here in France, penetrated Fortress Europe, and freed millions of people from slavery and Holocaust. What I want to say particularly tonight to the brothers and sisters in Camp Ashraf who are under grave threat, grave stress, that help is on the way and you should never, 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 never give up. We have two goals. One is a short-term and one is a long-term goal. The short-term goal is to guarantee the protection and safety of the men and women in camps Ashraf and Liberty. This has been a slow process. This has been a frustrating process. This has been a bureaucratic process. And the United States, along with the UN and along with our European friends, bear the responsibility for the slowness and the pace at which this rescue is taking place, as we saw in June 15th. The most important thing for our governments is not to stop under the illusion that a moderate has now been elected as president of Iran. Well, we know a little bit about this moderate. We know that this moderate was the national security advisor to the president when the IRGC blew up Kobar Towers and murdered 19 Americans in 1996. We know that this moderate was the defender, engineer, and supervisor of the Iranian Atomic Energy Weapons Program. So we should make no mistake and have no hesitation about the threat as it persists and as it continues. The IRGC and the enemies in the regime in Tehran with their co-conspirators in Baghdad and in the al-Maliki government pose a grave and immediate threat not just to the residents of Camps Ashraf and Liberty but to all freedom-loving people in the region. We can go back to the Marine Corps barracks bombing in 1983. 241 American Marines were killed. 41 French servicemen were killed by Hezbollah acting as the agent of Iran. Kobar Towers in 1996 was a repeat. So we are dealing with a very ferocious, a very unrelenting enemy. The last thing for us to do at this point is to relent under the illusion that there is a moderate who will now bring talks and rationality to a process that not only does he not control, but does not subscribe to. The second point, and the last point I want to make, is the point that comes to my experience as a policeman for many years, as a prosecutor and as an investigator. We should send a message, and we send a message again tonight, to the murderers in Ashraf, to the murderers in Camp Liberty, to the so far anonymous people that set off those 40 rockets that killed two people and wounded many. Justice will be achieved. They will be found, they will be prosecuted, and they will be convicted for those crimes. As with the Kobar indictment, the Kobar indictment is pending in the United States of America against 19 defendants, almost all of whom are in Iran. Someday, we say this to the residents particularly tonight as they hear us, those people as the murderers in Ashraf and Liberty will also be brought to justice. So we say to you tonight, God bless you, God protect you and your friends and families, and justice will be served.